a bracelet that officers say is bringing peace of mind to some Stanford residents. Project Lifesaver is a system that we use here which helps us find uh, people that, that are at risk, such as Alzheimer's patients, um, children with autism, um, anybody that's an at-risk person who wanders and leaves their homes, and we have to get, find them in a quick amount of time for their safety. Three years ago, Lieutenant Tim Shaw brought the program to Stanford, introducing the device to the state. When I was uh, down in Quantico, Virginia, in training at an uh, FBI academy, it was, uh, it was brought out in a conference about it. You know, I, I was definitely interested in it. I have had family and friends who have been stricken by Alzheimer's and co-workers who have autistic children and it was just something that kind of stuck with me. Now, numerous officers in the city's police department are trained to use the device. Project Lifesaver clients are given a bracelet with a unique frequency. If they wander off, officers have the tools they need to track them down. The officers that are responding are made aware of the fact that this is a Project Lifesaver client um, and either one of the officers who's maybe out on the street or someone working in the building will grab the equipment, head out to the location and start to search with the equipment. This is the antenna that we use to put on the cars. It gets attached to this device. And this goes on top of the car with a magnet and helps us zero in and find a central location. Once we get a small signal on this device, then we get out and transfer it to a handheld. It looks pretty old and archaic like what you saw in the 70s when they tracked animals, but it's not a GPS system, so therefore it doesn't have the pitfalls of a GPS system. We don't need satellites as long as the terrain is okay. We know we're good within a quarter mile to a half mile to find the person. They say the device also cuts down on search and rescue time and efforts. It's been huge. Um, I had one client that went missing probably 12 to 14 times in a year. And with the equipment, we're able to track him down and find him within 20 minutes to half an hour every time he went missing, as opposed to an hour or two hours or tying up. Well, it's also a manpower issue. You know, three or four guys with the equipment can do what 10 or 20 guys did years ago without the equipment. I think people that are in the program, the, their families, are very appreciative it's that extra security blanket and as far as the police department I think it's just a great program it's something that that helps you know helps give that that that, that Alzheimer's patient the, the family a little bit more security project lifesaver has since spread to a handful of towns in Connecticut there's a $300 fee to become a client but officers say it is based on the ability to pay the police station accepts donations to continue to fund the program for more information or to donate, call the Stanford Police Department at 203-977-4444.